So I am out here in Aswan at the unfinished obelisk. But an obelisk is basically like just a stands up straight. It's just a long pillar. Um, it's usually inscribed with some sort of uh, religious symbols on it, um, hieroglyphics in this case. So down in the south of Egypt, the people that are originally from here are called the Nubian people. A lot of the granite and the stones that were used to build the pyramids actually came from down here and then were transferred up north because the Nile runs south to north. So they were transferred from here up to Cairo area and Giza to actually construct those pyramids. Thus you'll see big rock quarries like this where stones were actually cut out from here and then transported down. They would create holes in the rock, like six inches down, and then they would use a hammer to hammer a wooden wedge into it. And then from there, they would get the wedge wet, all of them. And this would cause all the wood to push out and the rock to crack so you could get pieces to like crack away from the whole rock. So I made it up to the top here. You can see that's the bottom down there. And it goes, all the way up to there so this thing is massive um yeah pretty pretty amazing stuff that they're able to break and carve this out of like one like one single piece of stone this large it's just amazing what they were able to do it's a really really cool um way to show the quarries that all of these granite stones would have came out of to build the pyramids and um all these other projects these these giant structures sculptures of uh, pharaohs and priests and stuff like that that uh, all came from places like this rise and shine So it's about 6 a.m. now, and we made a little pit stop, grab some coffee, use the restroom, and uh, we'll be headed out to the temple soon. Pretty much in the middle of the desert. So it's 7 a.m. and we finally made it out here, so let's go see what's in store. Pretty awesome in here. I'm not sure how much of this was reconstructed and how much is original, but it's quite beautiful. So it does turn out that everything here is original. It was just moved from the lower area, including the inside of the uh, temple there. So quite beautiful. I know all these statues outside are original. Um, so I believe the second temple here was built for Nefertiti, which was Ramses II's wife. That's what I read in the Nubian temple yesterday. So yeah, uh, let's check this one out as well. I think that's good for today. Um, I'm about to get back in a bus and go right back to where I was. It's like six hours of driving from being here for two hours, but uh, it's still, it's, it's a really fascinating sight to see here. Like the, just the magnitude that they did these, these structures at are, is absolutely amazing for how long ago they were created. It's, it's, it's something else for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad I came out here and got, glad I got to see this and hope you guys enjoyed it.